Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. In this video we will explore equivalent fractions. The objective is to be able to generate equivalent fractions using pictures. Okay, to start with let me introduce you to an idea that helps me understand these. Now, when I was a younger man I went to Thailand once and I remember walking along the street in market stalls and being um, offered to purchase um, designer goods that were fake and the market store traders would always say that the items they were selling were same same but different and what they meant like in the picture here is that the items they were selling looked exactly like the real thing they were same same look like but actually they weren't the real thing so when they said it same same but different meant to look the same but actually be different now equivalent fractions are the opposite to this. <clears throat> I like thinking of equivalent fraction, fractions as different but same same. And by that I mean that they actually look different but they are the same. So in this case here a half actually turns out to be the same thing, exactly the same thing as two quarters and they, so they look different but actually they are the same. And this video will show you why that's the case and how to generate these different but same same equivalent fractions. Okay, let's have an example. Example one, copy this in your books. We're going to generate the first four equivalent fractions of a half and we're going to draw pictures to do this. So, to start with, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a box. So I would like you to draw a square in your book. So a really neat square. So draw a square in your book. And the first thing we want to do is we want to draw a half. We want to represent one half. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to divide that square vertically as follows. And we're going to colour in one side of that square to represent a half. Okay, so that there represents a half. Now, it, there's a nice easy way to generate equivalent fractions of a half using this picture we've just drawn. And how you do it is as follows. You draw yourself one line horizontally across the page as follows. And that generates your first equivalent fraction. You divide the square uh, in the horizontal direction into two. And now you can see that a half is actually the same thing as 2 out of 4. Okay, because you've got one, two uh, little squares coloured in out of the four possible ones. And that is your first equivalent fraction. Now what we're going to do uh, for the others is we're going to now draw two horizontal lines. So one here and one here and we're going to try and split this into three equal parts horizontally and now you can see that a half is actually the same as one two three out of one two three four five six so a half is actually the same as three out of six and we can keep going to do the next one what we'll do I might put these up here we're now going to split um, horizontally into four equal parts, so maybe one, two, three, four, and now you can see that a half is the same thing as one, two, three, four, out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so four out of eight, and you're getting the idea for this here, we can do one last one, and we can split it into fifth, so there's one, two, three, four, five, might even it up a little bit just so it looks like fifths. And so we've got a one, two, three, four, five out of ten. And they are the first four equivalent fractions of a half using pictures. Now you'll notice um, that I can get these using multiplication. A half, if I was to multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 2, 
I would get that half is two quarters. And if I was to multiply the top by three and the bottom by three, I would get three six. And similarly, you can see I could times four here and times four here, or multiply by five on the top here and five on the bottom here. And that gets me the same. Okay, let's have a go at another example, example two. The first four equivalent fractions of a third. Okay, first thing in your books, draw a nice neat square. And we're going to divide it into thirds. I'm going to colour in a third to make sure we've represented what a third looks like. So here's our representation of a third. And so we're going to use equivalent fractions here. We're going to draw one line uh, across the page. To, cutting it exactly in half. And you can see that one third is the same as one two out of six. So two six. And what you can do now is you can do the exact same thing. And you can separate it into three parts horizontally. And you can see that a third is the same as one, two, three out of nine. And you can do the same thing and split it f four ways. And you can see that a third is one, two, three, four out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve. And last one, you split it into five horizontally. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And we've got ourselves five out of 15. And you could notice that it, we would times in uh, the top and bottom, in this case here, by two, in this case here by three, in this case here by four, and in this case here by five. Okay, last example, we'll do a slightly trickier one. We're going to do the first um, four equivalent fractions of three fifths, so nice square on the page. Let's represent three fifths. Let's try and draw a picture that represents three fifths. So we're gonna split the picture into fifths vertically okay they're fifths and we want three of them so we're going to take ourselves these three let's say so that's our three fifths okay first thing we're going to split it into half, and we see that 3 fifths is the same thing as 6 out of 10. Now we're going to split it into 3 parts horizontally, and we see that it's the same thing as 9 out of 15. And now we're going to split it into 4 parts horizontally. And we see it's the same thing as 12 out of 20. And now we're going to split it into five parts horizontally. And we see it's the same thing as 15 out of 25. And we're done. So they're the first four equivalent fractions of three fifths. And notice in this case again, I've multiplied by two on top and bottom. In the second case, by three on top and bottom. On the next case, by four on top and bottom. And on the next case, by five on top and bottom. Okay, so they are how to generate equivalent fractions. And this is the task I would like you to do. I would like you to generate the first four equivalent fractions of the following uh, eight questions using pictures. You must draw the picture for each of these to help you. So quarter, fifth, sixth, the seventh, the tenth, two thirds, three quarters, four fifths, 
And then the hard part here is see if you can now do it without using pictures and using multiplication. There's a nice little extension on the bottom for those who finish quickly. Thanks for watching.